are we? <gasps> Mid! Hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome to Butterfly Soup. So we're gonna continue where we left off and it seems the rumor that Min has actually joined back in the school and I'm really excited to see how Dia's reaction is gonna be. Also Noelle because she didn't know Min when they were kids too. But now we're gonna deal with Akarsha who is playing pranks all the time. I like her though, but she's playing a lot of pranks. Anyway, let's continue. Inside, Akarsha and Noelle are playing cards. Time to reveal your hand in three, two, one. No one like Harsha flip their cards over. Why is there a Yu-Yo card? <laughs> Akarsha traps it with her index finger. This is Exodia, the forbidden one. Exodia, obliterate! I'm such a nerd. I used to love uh, Yu-Gi-Oh so much when I was a kid. Like I, I, I even had like all the cards. And my favorite character uh, throughout the entire series was always Seto Kaiba. And I always had the Blue Eyes White Dragon in my deck. <laughs> I loved him so much. Oh my god, memories. Think outside the box, Taco Bell. You can't do this! Akarsha reaches across his ass and takes one of Noelle's cards. What are you doing? You said you were going to play this normally. There are no rules in Yu-Gi-Oh saying that you can't eat the enemy's cards. We're playing poker! There's no rule in poker saying that you can't eat the enemy's cards. Class starts, so this concludes Noelle and Akarsha's daily afternoon struggle. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> Alright, just one more period before the day's over. Looking flushed, Noelle wipes her sweat off her brow. Why is it so hot? Because I'm hit- You shut up! <laughs> Loud hurt gasp. My heart is exploding, my lungs are without air, my blood is boiling, my body is shaking, my tears are running down my face. Noelle is then steadily grasping the side of the bench for support. What are you doing? I feel extremely dizzy all of a sudden. As a precaution, I will remain stationary until the symptoms- Dia grabs her and as she collapses. Her entire body is burning up. She must have a fever. We'll take you to the nurse's office, dude. No! Don't you dare! I need to go to the next period! Attendance is 20% of my grade in gym class! Missing one day can't hurt. Gym is like a freebie anyway. No, you don't understand! It's my worst subject! You know what? I'm like Noelle when I was in school because I was like a huge nerd. I was a huge nerd when I was in high school. And like, um, one of my lowest grades was PE, like gym class. <laughs> because I'm not athletic at all and I don't understand why, you know, children have to be graded on that. In my opinion, yes, it's important for them to have physical activity, but I don't think they should be graded for it. I think you should just make them do it so they can be active, but I don't think you should be graded on it. That's really stupid. I can't afford to lose any more points when I'm a mile- when my mile time is 18 minutes every week! So slow! What the- Don't make that face at me! I'm not you, D- Noelle launches into a sneezing fit. Jim's not even math or science. Is it a big deal? It still ruins her GPA and valedictorian status. Her parents will yell at her and be really mean. What do we do? If she gets a B because we took her to the nurse's office, it'll destroy her. But she's in no condition to be working out, either. She can't even stand without me holding her up. Let's use her heads. So there's gotta be a way out of this. Like what? Like, if a meteor hits Earth right now, no one will mind if Noelle skips gym class? Brilliant. If the world ends, we're saved. <laughs> even canceling school would be easier. Hold that thought! If school is cancelled, if school is cancelled right now, don't tell me she's gonna like pull the alarm bell. Snow day? But there's no snow. Then how? As long as we make it so that no one goes to class, we win. Akarsha is clearly going down some weird line of reasoning. Dude, I've got it! Homie G, you stay with Noelle while I, uh, do some stuff. What stuff? Uh, you're not gonna like it. Before I tell you, you're gonna promise not to get mad. What? Well, promise? Promise not to get mad, don't promise. Um, we'll just go with promise, what's your idea? Okay. Dia, but what if it's something insane? Then I'll just have to be annoyed internally. I knew I could count on you, a true homie. What about you, Frenchman? I can't promise not to get mad, just tell us already. Nope, I'm not telling you then. But what about me, I agreed. Heck no, I know, I know how it is with you two. If I tell you, you tell Noelle as soon as I'm gone. Damn, that's true. <laughs> Adios, amigos. Wait, where are you going? Shrek Swamp. What does that mean? I know Shrek, but like, why? Karsha left. 
I have a bad feeling about this. Me too. Why does everything have to be some kind of weird mind game with her? It's exhausting. She sounds so weak. She should rest on the bench. Dia sits and then lays Noel down, so her head is resting on her lap. Nothing we can do now but wait. Do we really have to do this? This is embarrassing. Oh, come on. I've seen you throw up in a trash can at Happy Fish Swim School because you were so bad at swimming that you inhaled half a gallon of water. Oh my god. <laughs> Compared to that, this is like a three. But this is different. This right now is unnecessary. Your thighs are so muscular that I can feel like I'm resting my head on a rock. <laughs> And then she's like, this is so gay! <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. It wasn't a compliment. How mean. Now we definitely have to do this. Feel Noelle's forehead, talk to Noelle. I'll just feel her forehead, just because I'm, I'm worried about her. Dia presses her hand to Noelle's forehead. It's hot. Hotter than my own forehead? Study shows that people who try to diagnose fever by touching significantly overestimates the instance of a fever, sometimes by as much as 40%. Oh, never mind then. Talk to Noelle! <laughs> Tell Noelle to get into shape, talk about ancient Chinese rock pillows, would you eat a tiny man for a million dollars? Uh, how long uh, do we have until class starts? I don't want to talk about class because she's pretty paranoid. Hey, let's talk about Chinese rock pillows, I don't know. Did you know that in ancient China they slept on rock pillows? I saw it on Discovery Channel. This isn't making me feel any better! You're going back to your ancient roots. I don't want to go back to my ancient roots! <laughs> Uh, tiny man. Would you eat a tiny two inch tall man for a hundred million dollars? I bet she's gonna say, of course not, that's illegal. Of course not, that's homicide, which is illegal. <laughs> what is this? Some dumb Akarsha question? Yeah. Okay, tell her to get into shape. This is so mean, but. Get into shape. Even ignoring your gym class grade, the way you are right now is just bad. You're just like a life alert commercial. I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> I know, I know. Then why don't you do something? What if there's a zombie apocalypse and I get bitten first? How are you going to survive? I can't help it. I don't have any time to work out. I can barely even keep up with schedule as is. That's just an excuse. She'd be able to figure something out if her heart was into it. If only there was a way to get Noella to enjoy ex exercising. I guess that's true, and then, uh, considering she has so much pressure from her family to be like a straight-A student, so I, she's not really thinking about that. She's really thinking about her grades not being, uh, you know, a athletic or anything. How long do we have until class? About two minutes. Maybe you should head to class, you'll be tardy. No, it's fine. I run fast. Suddenly, Noelle tries to sit up. Her abs are too weak, so she fails and flops back down. What are you doing? Becoming a fish? I just had a great idea! You know on the Valentine's Day, you can play the school to deliver roses to someone? Oh, like in middle school? You could have them secretly send to your crush candy grams for five dollars? Yeah, like that. Except here, we're more mature, so it's flowers. We should send Akarsha one with a message from your secret admirer. I imagine how confused she'll be. And we can tease her relentlessly about it. It'll be hilarious. Okay, that is pretty funny. That's so mean. It's not even that mean. It's not even that mean because she'll get free flowers out of it. it actually, yeah, knowing like Akarsha's personality so much, she should be like free stuff. The secret admirer part is the best. She'll drive herself nuts trying to figure out who it is. Alternatively, we can sign it with a really common initial like KC. She'll look up every guy with those initials at the school. That's good too. I can't decide if it's funnier to have her conclude it's a random person or for her to be constantly suspicious of everyone. Maybe we can do this every year. Like a tradition. Oh my god, you're a genius! The first two years we don't give her any clues, and then junior year adds initials to encourage her to jump to the wrong conclusions. That way we'll get to see both. Noelle is such in a good mood that she lets out a creepy evil laugh. We can also make the message a cipher, so she'll have to solve it. If you put too much math on it, she'll know it's you. Ciphers aren't math. If you have to explain to me what it is, she'll know it's you. Fair enough. How much do the roses cost? Probably around $12. $12. That's six per person. Don't really want to spend that much on a joke, especially if it's annual. It'd be like 48 in all. We could split the cost between more people, so it's more reasonable. We don't have any other friends who would appreciate it. You're right. Never mind, just forget it then. <laughs> Noelle looks immensely disappointed. I was right! Did she pull the alarm? Is that Super Mario? <laughs> Someone hacked into the fire alarm and is playing Super Mario Brothers theme. 
almost gave me a heart attack. Students come floating out of the classrooms. They all look really glad for an excuse to leave. Everyone is evacuating to the field like they were supposed to. Can you walk? I yeah. Dia catches Noelle as she pitches forward again. Nope. What a meme. Our crush is such a meme. Dia gives Noelle a piggyback ride to the field. The entire school is out here now. Sup, homies? You! Can't believe you've done this! I can't, I can't believe, believe you've, you've done, done this! <laughs> I ought to report you to the authorities. But you won't. What do you think? I just won't because we're fr fellow acquaintances? Fellow acquaintances? She was totally about to say friends. I was not! Admit it! Friends, friends, friends! I hate you more than is physically possible right now. Oh, come on. What did you want me to do? Travel back in time and change Chinese cultures to not see academic achievements as a moral virtue? The one who's getting sick doesn't get to complain. You broke the law! How can I not complain? Is anyone on this earth truly innocent? You can't distract me with fake deep statements! You don't appreciate anything I do! Where is my Nobel Peace Prize? Where is my thank you, Akarsha? You're awesome. I'm not thank you for this illicit help that I never asked for. We're seriously expecting to be praised? And never have I ever been more embarrassed for my fellow man. I'm a hero. You're not a hero. You're a scumbag. Disgusting. Fine, be that way. I'm sorry. Forgive me. You don't even look remotely sorry. I can't help it if I think you're funny when you're mad. Just don't tell anyone we could call it an even deal. Akasha offers a handshake. Noelle regards it with an obvious suspicion. She cautiously releases her grip on Dia's shoulder and reaches out to shake on it. Instead of grasping her hand, Akasha grabs Noelle's wrist. She starts hitting Noelle with her own hand. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? I hate you! You stupid! You should have killed me when you had the chance. Next time, I won't let you off so easy. This is your last warning. She said that the last time, and the time before that. Power of friendship! A stranger brushes past Akarsha in the crowd. Akarsha gawks after her, placing her hand on her heart. What are we? <gasps> Man! Oh my god! Okay, wait, sorry, I freaked out for a second. Oh no, the reunion's happening! Wait, that looks like... Dia chases after the person. Dia? Where are you going? This... the person... The person is so short that Dia loses sight of the crowd. I lost her! Great, I'm so sleep deprived that I'm literally hallucinating. No, they didn't get to me! Damn it! <laughs> that night, Dia dreams of the past. Third grade. Whoa, I'm up to bat. Yeah, I get to hit the ball. This is so fun. Hey, look, it's a girl batting. Phew, our team got lucky. Shut up, you dumb poo poo head. <laughs> Say one more word and I'll kill you. What? What is, what is a word? Die! A fight broke out into the stands. Man is beating the crap out of an old grandpa. You better watch out, I'm green belt. Green belt. The other adults are rushing to pull her off of him. Min! Min scrambles down the rafters with everyone chasing after her. I'm taking you with me! She grabs Dia's wrist and starts sprinting off in her toe. Wait, stop! We got away. <laughs> I kidnapped you. Sure. Now we can do whatever we want. Come on, I brought Jin's bike. Min pulls Jinso's bike from out of the bushes. She mounts the bike and looks at Dia expectantly. You sit on the rear rack. Shouldn't I be the one pedaling? I'm bigger than you. I'm training for when I get taller than you. That's never gonna happen. You'll be short forever. How do you know? Just watch. Are you getting on or not? Dia attentively lowers herself on the back, uh, onto the bike rack. So, where do you want to go next? My house, your house, Noelle's house, Home Depot light section, asks Min to decide. Why the Home Depot lights? I'm just wondering. Um, <laughs> okay, not her house because they don't like Min. We can't go to her house because she's in trouble. And Min doesn't like Noelle. We can either go to Home Depot or ask Min. Hey, let's ask Min. You know what? Min, you decide. Are you sure? The place I want to take you is pretty far. So if there's anywhere else you want to go, we should probably knock that out of the way first. Uh, no, you know what? It's okay. Go go for it. Dia shakes her head. Okay, then hold on tight. You're not telling me where we're going? It's a surprise. Aw, this is kind of cute. After an extreme amount of effort on Min's part, they arrive at a ravine. We, we, here. That wasn't even a coherent sentence. Are you okay? 
Yeah, what kind of weakling do you think I am? Her legs just feel like jelly right now, but there's no way she'd have ever admit it. Thanks for the ride. You're welcome. Anytime. The place down here in the hill is through the tunnel. Should I get off? It's too steep to bike down. Yeah, let's run down. Min enthusiastically leaves off the bike and sprints down the hill. The bike is just laying there in the grass. Wait, we can't leave this. Dia picks up the bike and runs after her. Min is waiting at the mouth of the tunnel. I want to show you something on the other side. Let's walk through. She peers through the darkness with a hopeful look on her face. What are you looking for? Skeletons. Are you scared? Don't worry, I'll protect you. <laughs> That's so cute! Every time they're doing something together, Min's always like, I'll protect you, don't worry. Oh, Okay. I'm counting on you, then. Yeah! I'll protect you with my life! Min grabs Dia's hand. There's water on the ground. Hold on to me so you don't slip. I if I slip like this, you'll just get dragged down with me. No, I won't. Trust me. Okay, so let's look at this thing first. This is so adorable, I can't. The squirrels are scampering up in the tree. When it sees Dia staring, it lifts one paw. Whoa, it waved at us! Min! It's waving! Min, look! The squirrel just waved at us! You're way too excited about this! Then why are you smiling? Because it's cute. Really? I didn't know you like squirrels. I was talking about you. <laughs> so cute! Help! <laughs> oh, Dia's face feels strangely hot. Oh, they're so cute! I'm gonna cry. Okay, let's go to the tunnel with uh, Min. It's pitch black inside the tunnel. If it weren't for Min, Dia actually would be a bit scared now. Don't worry, Dia, I got this. She stomps her foot. Her sketchers light up. Whoa! Dia is really impressed. <laughs> Teach me how to count to ten. Okay. Oh, okay, this is just teaching in Tongle. Okay, that's so cool. One. One. Two. Two! After a minute, Min has learned the numbers up to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm probably gonna forget all of it over again in a few days. And I'll teach you again when it happens. I'll do over and over forever if you want. I don't mind. Okay, my turn to teach you. I remember some from last time. She's getting it wrong again. <laughs> I forgot it again. How come you can never remember five? It sounds off. Off? It does not. Does too. It doesn't feel like a five. <laughs> They're just arguing. <laughs> Docs? It takes a moment for Dia's eyes to adjust to the bright sunlight. Oh, it's a dog park! Oh, because she loves dogs so much. So, oh man, it's so sweet. Even though they're like in third grade. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Do you like it? It's a dog park. Can we go in even though we don't have a dog? Yeah. I found this place by accident back when I ran from home. A few weeks ago, Min ran away from home because she didn't want to eat a tomato. <laughs> what? The park is divided into two sides. There's a sign above of the gates that reads, Small dogs only under 30 pounds. Oh my god! They have it separated by weight! Under 30 pounds, that's so cute! Which side do you want to see? Ooh! She likes- I think she likes any type of dog, but she was really excited about the small dogs. So let's go to the small dogs. Man swinging the gate open to gesture for Dia to go ahead. Ladies first. There's so many dogs. They're all friends with each other. Dog friends. I've died and gone to heaven. Uh, a chihuahua trots up to Dia with a frisbee in its mouth. He drops it at Dia's feet and looks up at her expectantly. He wants me to throw it. Dia sets down on the bike and hurls the frisbee as hard as she can. The dog gallops after it. He catches it with a running leap, zooms straight back to her, and drops it at Dia's feet again. What a good dog! He's so talented! Dia is almost crying. Are you happy? This is the best day of my life! Thank you, Min. You're welcome. Do you want to try throwing the frisbee? No, it's fine. I like watching you do it. Okay. Dia throws the frisbee again. The dog tears it off with such a gusto that the grass goes flying behind him. Hey, Dia. If you want, you can live in my house when we grow up. I'll buy you all the dogs you want. <laughs> all the dogs? And I'll get to see you every day. I'll drive you around in my cor Corvette and I'll make everyone jealous. Drive the dogs around too. They can wear goggles so the wind doesn't sting their eyes. Yeah, sure, whatever you want. We'll be so far from our parents that they never have to see them again. And if we go somewhere with snow, you can throw snowballs towards me and I'll punch them around in the air. It'll look pretty cool. Wow, great plan. Okay, let's do it. Really? Are you sure? Min reaches out and gently cups Dia's face with her palms. 
<laughs> what is happening? This is great. Wow. Ah, oh, it's over. God damn it, just ruined it. Dia hits the alarm and flops face first onto the bed. Her morning routine included lying on the bed for 10 minutes, thinking about how tired she is. Do it, just do it. I didn't realize it back then, but now that I think about it, that was really... Could it be that I'm a... I'm a... <gasps> oh! I guess, yeah, it would make sense she wouldn't really know about what her sexuality is. Especially when you're a kid, you don't really know anything about that stuff. I guess now that she's uh, growing up now, she kind of realizes she likes girls. So... This is interesting. Les... Lesbi... Bibab... Lesbiam... Girls... No, that's impossible. I don't feel that way about other girls at all. Because men look like... Because men look acting like that, my heart must have confused her with a guy. Oh, poor sweetheart, she's so confused. And then, you know... I don't want to, like, say, like, all, like... Asian parents are like a stereotype, but I know a lot of like Asian families don't really, you know, understand the concept of someone being, you know, who identifies as LGBTQ+. Like, they don't really understand that. So, I can imagine that Dia's family probably wouldn't like explain that to who or any of these girls, because they're all it's supposed to be like Asian girls, right? They don't really explain it to their children, which is very like heartbreaking because they don't know. And now look at Dia, she's kind of like, there must be something wrong with me because I think Min is like a guy or something like that. Who knows? Dia could be bi for all we know, so... <laughs> but it, this, I, I actually like that this game is exploring the, like, her struggle with her sexuality because I think that's very important, especially for young people who don't really understand what's going on. It's okay to have these feelings. If you're not sure, like, what your identity is, I think it's fine. People always say you have to figure out, like, what you want to do or what you want to be or who you are by, like, a certain age. And it's always like, by your 18, you should know your entire life. And in reality, you're not gonna know. You're not gonna know until you, like, experience different stuff. And it's the same for what you identify as your sexuality to be no one says you have to be straight you have to be gay you have to be bi you have to be pad all this stuff no one said you have to be a certain thing you will figure it out as you go along with your life hell i didn't even fucking figure it out until i was like what 20 22 so <laughs> it's like it, it's been it, it takes a while for people sometimes sometimes some people know right away while some people don't know until they get older and that's okay i just wanted to tell people that it's okay any girl would have felt something even if they were straight. And if it was her, Min was special, so she was an exception. Plus, nothing ever came out of it. It's in the past now. Something like that will never happen again. So it doesn't count, right? If Min hadn't moved away, what would have happened? After ten minutes, Dia enthusiastically peels herself off of the mattress and stands. My classmate Akarsha messaged me. Check your computer! Yahweh sent me, I forgot. Hey, Dia. Hey. Hey. What? What do you call a lesbian with long nails? Single. <laughs> Dia goes offline. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's like, I had enough of this. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna end this episode right here. So that was really interesting. I was I was so excited when we saw Min, but, like, they didn't get to meet again. But it kind of shows, like, their past relationship that, yeah... Uh, Dia did have feelings for Min, and vice versa. I, I'm pretty sure it's clear with Min she really loves Dia, but Dia is the one who's confused because she doesn't really understand her own feelings yet. And it's it's nice that this game is addressing that, that we get to discover um, who Dia is as a person. Same with Min. We'll see how much she has changed or has not changed in the past years that Dia hasn't seen her. And I, I'm liking I'm liking the character dynamics between all everyone in this game. It's very cute and very adorable, and I can't can't stand it, I love it. <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the companions. Also, if you would like to support the channel on Patreon, the link is in the description, or you can support the channel for free with gogbox.com slash a girl in a game. And if you guys use those things, it will help me continue this series and continue the channel overall. So please let me know in the comments what you guys thought. <laughs> Min and Dia are so cute. I can't stand it. They're so adorable together. And I can't wait to see what Dia's reaction is going to be when she sees Min. Because I think she still has feelings for Min. Because it's still harboring inside of her if she's thinking about uh, their memories together like that. Where they're being, like saying intimate things to each other. And um, 
I hope this the story has a happy ending. There's too many like gay stories that have sad endings, and I just want something normal and nice. And I think this is gonna be it. So, <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. What the fuck? All right. <laughs> I really do. This is too sweet. Tastes like shit. <laughs> you have bad taste. I don't even know how to start explaining how wrong you are. Who gets to put the pizza in front?